on the end there. Here's a, here's a public service advert that I wrote last year for the for, for altruistic reasons. I didn't get a penny out of it. So they helped out with some local charities and planted a tree in Israel and we called it straight. <laughs> So it's a, it's a work of great magnet, uh, magnanimousness, but, uh, in fact, Medician largesse. <laughs> <laughs> if I say so myself. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's a short ad, it's a little jingle. It, this, I, I wrote this to help the uh, beleaguered National Health Service in the UK. They're strapped for a quid. I put, a few, I put a few minutes and I wrote this little jingle for them to help them in their relentless campaign against the social menace that is STDs, ladies and gentlemen. STDs are what STIs used to be. VD, give it a name. <laughs> for which uh, Britain leads the world by a sizzling 78%. <laughs> I heard a bit of a cheer mid-crowd. <laughs> Well, I'm, it's no laughing matter. Listen, it's no, I, I myself contracted syphilis back in the 19th century, and uh, <laughs> it's no laughing matter. <laughs> I wasn't looking forward to those mercury injections, I must admit. And, uh, but you know what? Somebody up there likes me. The symptoms cleared up without any medical intervention whatsoever. And since then, I've led a perfectly normal life. <laughs> so don't worry about me. <laughs> don't worry about me, I'll get along. <laughs> Here it is anyway. So yeah, so yeah um, STD. So this little jingle is to help the National Health Service combat this so new social menace that is STD. So this one, I'll tell you the title. It used to be called Lydia Lydia. <laughs> so I guess you finished it off in your head. <laughs> the, clue, the clue is in the title, I'll admit it. <laughs> the clue is in the title, but it's not called Lydia Lydia anymore. Because on account of, uh, as any Dean Friedman fan will tell you, you know who you are. <laughs> Remember him. <laughs> Remember him, of course. You don't lie. <laughs> don't you lie. Don't go revising your record collections on my behalf. We've all made mistakes. Well, as any Dean Friedman fan will tell you, if he had the guts to admit he was a Dean Friedman fan ever. But the day will come when you'll be proud to acknowledge his... Uh, 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 his uh. <laughs> anyway, Lydia, Lydia. He, he had the title first, and I found out the hard way when I was just going to do this number, Lydia, good... And I'll tell you, this is when I had to change the title. It's not called Lydia Lydia anymore because I was just about to do this number. And then from the wings came the following message. Psst, Johnny, change the title. Why? He's in the audience. Who? The ragamuffin Romeo himself. Dean Friedman here. What the? Huh? Yes. And he's a very litigious person. He can, he can afford a better lawyer than what you can. So if you don't want to live out the rest of your life in utter penury, You'll change the title on the spot. So think it on my feet, I come up with this new title. Now it's called Lydia, Girl with an Itch. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see it's, uh, it's a much better title all round. Proving once again that necessity is the mother of invention and not Frank Zappa as some of you had previously assumed. <laughs> So here it is, Lydia, girl with an itch. Lydia, Lydia, get rid of your chlamydia. Only an idiot would ever consider you. <laughs> okay, that's it with the adverts. And now, and now back to when animals attack magicians. 